Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be comparing the Christian Dior Large Book Tote with the Louis Vuitton On The Go GM tote bag. I have shown the On The Go tote several times on my channel and I recently did a What's In My Bag. This is the newest bag of my collection. This is the Dior Large Book Tote. They also both come in a smaller size. So the On The Go tote comes in an MM size and that would be equivalent to the small book tote. The On The Go tote comes with the top handle and the shoulder strap, which you can see right there on the inside. Whereas the book tote only comes with these two rolled handles. Now the difference with the rolled handles, because this only this is the only option, you can wear this on the shoulder. So I'll show you right now. You can wear this on the shoulder. This folds flat and they have the longer shoulder straps. So because this has a longer strap drop, obviously this you know, is, sits lower and fits on your hip. This one is kind of snug right up there against your arm. And because, you know, these are flatter, the flatter shoulder straps will stay more on your shoulder, especially because you can hold, you know, I kind of tuck one underneath. So this doesn't fall off my shoulder the way this kind of does fall off the shoulder, but that's okay. I pretty much would only carry this like this, especially because when this gets a little full, you really can't keep this on your shoulder. By the way, I will, I don't know when I'm going to post these, but I did a separate video showing how to wrap your handles with the Dior Mitza on both sides. <laughs> I have this on here to protect the handles because these handles are the same embroidered canvas material and I wouldn't want it to get, you know, dirty from holding it. The on the go tote is their coated canvas for both the shoulder strap and the top handles. Now, I am hearing from the, from everyone on, online, they're replacing the, is, I don't know if it's just the shoulder strap or maybe it's also the top handle, but this is going to be black leather and it's no longer gonna be the canvas and I would, I presume it's because they are concerned that this will eventually crack because it is a coated canvas. So they're replacing this with black leather, which, you know, some people would prefer that, but I, I really like the look of this because it's the contrasting, reverse uh, canvas that matches the bag. So yeah, I would say this is a lot more comfortable just as a day-to-day -day bag. I use this for work all the time. I did uh, a link my what's in my bag video where I pack this for work. I do use this with an organizer. It's a zipper organizer and this fits perfectly inside and I got red because it matches the red interior of my on the go tote and my Neverfull. Now I do have an, a bag organizer on the way for the book tote. I don't have it on me yet, so I can't film it, but as soon as I get it, I'll definitely post an update showing how I pack this. But the Samorga book organizer, it's similar to this in that it zips at the top, but what's great about the Samorga organizer is the zipper is removable. So this part, can you just, you kind of pull it off? It's, it's stuck with Velcro. Um, also the Samorga organizer, it fits perfectly inside. So I'm just gonna stick this one in here to show so this is the difference with, so this organizer was made specifically for the Neverfull. Um, and so it doesn't reach all the way to the top. So it stops right about here. So it goes kind of up to here. Uh, but I definitely would use this book tote with an organizer because there is nothing inside. There's no pockets or anything. So I definitely need an organizer. But I do have the book tote organizer on the way to me. I'll link below the organizer. They make all three sizes. So the book tote comes in this large size, it comes in the small, which I would say is the medium, and then it comes in a mini. And so Morga does make organizers for all three sizes. And for the medium and the large, they do make the zipper top organizer. So I'll link my, I'll link those below. And you can use my code, a heated mess for 20% off. If I take this out, you can see that it's really, well, I have a light on it, but if it's just dark in here or a dark organizer, it would be kind of like a black hole. So I did get a beige, or I think it's called eggshell, is the bag organizer. So this way it'll be easy to this see. This is heavier than this one. Um, once you open this up all the way, it is pretty wide. So the structure is the same. This might be hard to see, but... So this is it side by side. When you fully extend out both sides, pretty much exactly the same width. Yeah, this is the same width. 
or you can see that maybe because this tab here on the on the go tote kind of closes up this part and now this is really the nitty-gritty um, this maybe has a slightly larger opening but it's so minuscule the difference is, is so small you really it really doesn't make a difference in the day-to-day -day as you're as you're carrying the bag if you lay out the corners of the bag here it is corner to corner you can see that there is this much of an overlap so the Dior book tote is slightly taller and then here is the edge it's literally just by where the seam is in length yeah so it's really just just that edge right there is the difference and I'll try to insert pictures it's kind of hard to tell because it's I'm holding this up but it, I if you lay this totally flat there's the edge of the book tote corner to corner with the on the go tote and then you can see right here there is how much ex how much the book tote extends up at the top right here okay there you go so it sticks out that much and then on the side it's really just that seam bigger so the Dior tote is officially slightly bigger than this and the on the go is slightly heavier because this does have an additional lining and it's just like a canvas lining this has more pockets well it has it has pockets in general this has the zipper pocket and the two slip pockets this also has a hook closure or lobster hook closure and then again of course the two shoulder straps or the shoulder straps and then the top handle so the book tote does not have any of that and then it just folds very flat so this is it holding it on my arm and for reference i am five feet i'm just shy of five one um this does fit like that uh, you can hold this down and it fits to it hits right above my calf and again on the shoulder and then for this one on the shoulder and of course if you fill it as much so that's the other thing that's great about this if uh, you really you can really fill this up all the way to the top and you can still comfortably wear it on your shoulder whereas this one you can wear on your shoulder but if you if you have it full to the brim um, you really can't because then the shoulder this this second handle will start falling off your shoulder it really needs to be kind of close together so again i will do um, an in-depth review showing how exactly i pack this and how much this fits uh, for reference i'll link again the what's in my bag for the on the go tote they carry about the same it's about the same size this again is slightly larger this has this is this much taller about an inch or so um but when you, if you have this bag as full and as heavy as the on the go tote it might be a little uncomfortable to carry and then again you don't have the shoulder option anymore so if you're debating between the two you know it's really up to you it's up to your preference this is a little more casual you might need to protect this more because it's a it's an embroidered canvas whereas this is the treated coated canvas so i love both i love big bags so i hope you enjoyed this quick comparison with the dior large book tote and the on the go gm tote bag from louis vuitton um, it really is up to you how you <laughs> what you want in a bag um, you can definitely this can fit a laptop and everything but it might be uncomfortable and, and kind of heavy to wear i hope you enjoyed this comparison let me know if you have any other questions and i hope to see you in my next video bye